This is a quick little video to introduce you to a new utility called Process Piglet, which is running down here in my system tray. I'm going to double click it to bring up the main little window. And um, what Process Piglet does is it runs in the background and monitors the memory usage of all the processes running on your computer. So you can see when I bring up the main window here, it's nothing magical. It's just showing the top memory users of all the processes running on my computer currently. There's the program I'm using to record this video. There's the backup service uh, crash plan that's written in Java and uses a, an obscene amount of memory. So, um, you know, it can be useful to double click this at any time to see what your top memory users are, but that's not the real purpose of Process Piglet. What it does is it monitors these programs in the background and it watches for when a process starts to consume more and more memory. And I'm going to give you a demonstration of that. I'm just going to close this, get back to work here. I'm going to bring up my um, Firefox. And I'm going to start opening some browser tabs here and give it a little work to do. And uh, you can't quite see, but I've opened five tabs here. And now I'm going to open a couple more and I'm going to start browsing around and uh, Firefox was actually what uh, inspired Process Piglet because while I, I, I like Firefox a lot what I've noticed is that um, and there's the Process Piglet alert uh, what I've noticed is that Firefox occasionally goes out of control and starts using more and more memory and uh, I don't even notice it until my whole computer becomes unusable and then inevitably I'll bring up the task manager and see that Firefox has pegged itself out at a gigabyte of memory or so. So anyway you can see what's happened. Process Piglet has popped up this alert. It says Firefox has jumped from 200 megabytes to 400 megabytes and it's offered me a quick click to restart the process. Now um, most of the time that's fine. Firefox will actually, uh, when I start closing these tabs, it'll go back down to normal most of the time. And I won't have to worry about it. So I could close this or I could just leave it on the screen. Um, but uh, what's useful about this utility is it will actually tell you now, if I, if I say, okay, I'm not worried about this, I'll just close it. If I later keep using Firefox and then later it goes from 400 megabytes to 500, then 600, then 700, by the time it gets up to 700 megabytes or so, I know there's a problem. And uh, when the next alert comes up, I'll kill it. So we can just go take a look at now. Firefox has dropped back down quite a bit. And eventually it'll drop back down so low under normal operation that Piglet will pop up a new message um, and say, hey, Firefox is behaving well again. So that's what Process Piglet does. And I'll just show you quickly from here. You can, in fact, uh, terminate or restart processes or um, even open up a web search about them. You can also find out where they're running from if you're not sure, like, what the hell is this? Well, it turns out it's my uh, antivirus tool. Um, we can take a look at some of the options here normal options for starting up. You can uh, have it keep on top, stay on this window, stay on top of all other windows. So you can just keep it running in the corner of your screen if you want. You've got some options about what to show in this list, how frequently it updates memory usage. You can choose what memory statistic to look at, whether it's working memory, virtual memory. You'll have to search the web for the differences between these things. Um, you can exclude certain processes from uh, alerting you and you can get a little operations log which actually tracks when it performs certain actions so this will be a historical uh, log even after you reboot the machine of what happened when what else you can set these alerts to automatically disappear or not etc so there you have it process piglet